Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at Travion Henderson, running back from Ohio State, number 32. Let's take a look at some of his positives and negatives before we get into the film for Travion. Uh, good long speed, can break away from the pack once he gets in stride. Uh, he can change directions with the best of them, can weave inside and outside of the tackle box, you know, with ease. Uh, great explosive ability, the ability once he get in open space to finish runs and make those 10 to 15 yard runs, home run runs to hit his head on the goalpost. Uh, above average balance, meaning once he gets tripped up, he has the ability to keep that balance and extend those plays and get 5 to 10 to 15 extra yards and maybe even get upright and finish those runs. Uh, very good vision. Very good vision, and you can see it, you know, when he jump cuts, he jump cuts with ease because he can see different holes opening up before they even open. Negatives. He's okay as a pass catcher, but what I will show you is he's decent at route running, and I got a couple of examples I'm going to show you that in the film. So those are the positives and the negatives I have for Travion Henderson. Let's get into the film. All right, before we get started, a few numbers on Travion. Again, 5'10", 212 pounds. In 2023, which is the last season, he had 156 carries, 926 yards, 5.9 per clip, 11 touchdowns. He also had 19 catches for 229 yards. Last season in 2022, 107 carries, 517, 71 yards, 5.3 per carry, only six touchdowns, four catches, 28 yards, and one TD. Ironically, his best year was three years ago in 2021. 183 carries, which is his most carries, 1,248 yards, which is his most yards, 6.8 yards per clip, which is his most yards per carry, 15 touchdowns, most touchdowns, 27 catches, 312 yards, and four touchdowns, which all was his best. So his best year was three years ago at Ohio State in the 2021 season. But let's get into what he did last year. We're going to look at the Wisconsin tape, then we'll look at a second game on the More City Tyler Channel versus Notre Dame. But well, here he is versus Wisconsin. We are initially going to take uh, a look at division. He's going to get this hand off, and it's not going to be much there for him. Look, he really has nowhere to go. 68 and another guy's just right there in his face. He's going to jump cut that thing, find room to the outside, and make something out of nothing. Because there, I mean, if you look at it again, there was nothing for no, nothing or nowhere for him to go. Where is he going to go? Two guys have already beat their man. A third guy's potentially beating this man, number 94. 17's on his back end, so if you cut out the back end, he has nowhere to go. The only option he has is to kind of scoot over here where this double team is. That's the only option. He sees it at the last minute, has the ability to get over there and get around the corner and get a little burst. So he turns something into nothing. So look, you got two or three of his linemen on the ground, and he gets about four yards out of it. next one they move him to the slot so anytime you can take a back and put him in the slot that's a plus watch this route though watch what he does to the linebacker in this you see him right there in the slot spot shadow they move a linebacker out there on him he gonna give him this little pop pop and then with the arm over kind of flat foots the, the linebacker then when he tries to put hands on him he slaps that arm down now he's wide open he wide open that's a great route. Just got to finish. Great route. Just got to finish. Now, the reason I put this on here is, has nothing to do with the, the him not catching the ball. It's, the, it's all this that happens before that. The, the ability to get wide open. The ability to get wide open is important. Catching the ball is important too, but you don't see a lot of backs that can do this. Bam, slap that hand down. That's, that's a wide receiver move. And that little subtlety right there can get you open in a lot of spaces. A lot of spaces. And you're seeing it out of a running back. So we talked about that was one of his negatives, you know, catching the ball out the backfield. Now right here, he's catching the ball out the backfield on a little wheel route. He, look, he looked real confident catching this ball with his hands. Not, not a body catch. All hands right there 
Eyes to the ball. Look, that looks fairly comf uh, comfortable to me. So I think the more he has to do it, the more comfortable he'll get with it. Cause it but this is a lot different catch from that last play. This is a lot different catch. That that catch on the last one was a straight up over the shoulder wide receiver fade ball. This is like a swing right out the backfield almost. It's a, it's a lot different. Um, eye discipline. A lot a different place where you got to put your eyes and your hands. So, you know, this one may be more comfortable for him than what we saw in the last play. But I think he's a capable catcher out the backfield. But I think he's a more than capable route runner out the backfield, though. Now we got him in pass pro right here. Now, this is not the greatest rep, but I like the way he sticks with it. Look, look at the base. This is what I love about it. Look at the base. Then he's, he's cocks back and gets right into the guy. Now, he don't, he don't get a clean strike on him because his head's kind of down, but I like the effort. I like the effort. Now, again, like I said, he doesn't get a clean strike, but he don't just give up on it. He fights through. Fights through. And with that, that right there, that gives the quarterback time to step up if you need to. So, so the base, the base prior to contact, I love. I, I love this. Then right before contact, you see him get ready to strike. He getting ready to lunge. But not lunge. Lunge is the wrong word. Because lunge gets you beat. But I just say strike. Look at them hands. Look at the hands. Hands in a good spot. Hands inside. I just routed that head up. I think that's the only reason he missed because the head down. If the head is up, he made good contact. Knock the guy back up off the ball. And it'd be a good rep. And it's still not a bad rep. And again, I talked about it yesterday on the Marvin Harrison video. They, they didn't have good quarterback play. Watch this jump cut and explosion. Just simple. Trying to hit the hole. Bam. It's so natural. It's so natural. It's, it's like a regular step for him almost. Like a little slide step. Because he's he trying, he trying to hit this hole. Because this way, this way you're supposed to hit. You're supposed to hit that right there because that's where the blocking tells you. But. But. Sees a bigger hole out beside it. And he just explodes through it. Now he's just running away. Once he get he he's he's what they would call slow to, but explode through the hole. And he's he epitomizes that that phrase, that football jargon, that coach speak, so to speak. I love this run from him. You finna get some power football out of, out of this young fella right here. You finna get some power running right here. A little toss. Now I got it blocked up. See the vision to cut off number eight's block. Number eight gonna kick him out. He gonna cut off right between him and 71. Watch this still for him. No, sir. Pie face. Pie face. Oh, you ain't have enough? Get you some more. Eat that grass. Now finish the run. I love that. I love that. I love that right there. Get you some. Get you a little bit more. Get you some of that patty pie. Mm. Love it. Love, love the toughness out of our back like that. And this right here, just an overall great run. Like, just, just, just sit back and witness this. He get a lot, he do a lot of stuff in this run. He put a lot of attributes that you love in a running back in this run right here. They just running the outside zone. Vision, patience. That's the patience. Now here comes the, the balance. Now the explosion. But that's the power right there running through that tackle. Now here comes the explosion. Heck of a run. Heck of a run. Let's see it one more time. You can do balance there. Vision. And I, and I say vision because if he hits that right there, you got you got the, these people here and you got him coming. So that's why I think he, he bounces it to the next gap over. And that's why I, I quote the vision right here. Again, more balance again. You get the power to run through this arm tackle. 
and not even to put on the Jets. It's a great run. Great run. Now, I just, you know, wanted to show you, and again, I'm not trying to get a bunch of highlights for these prospects. I'm trying to show you what happens the majority of the time in football and what would translate to the NFL. So all these attributes I showed you for Travion, I think would translate to whatever team decides to pick him. I think he has the potential to be one of those backs that can play on every down. And the reason I say that because I think he's a great route runner out the backfield. Uh, hands maybe need to get better. That's neither here nor there. We'll see. You know, once he goes to the combine, have to do some of those things. Uh, but once he gets the ball in his hand out the backfield, whether it be toss or downhill or whatever, I think he can make all the runs. He can be an inside runner. He can be an outside runner. He can he can get you the tough three or four yards or the one yard, or he can be a home run hitter and hit his head on the goalpost. So I think he has a making to potentially be a complete back. A complete back. The only thing that worries me is, and this could be team related, his most productive season was two years ago. But that could be team related, but just that kind of, I ain't gonna say it's a red flag, but it might be like a light blue flag. So uh, this is Travion Henderson of Ohio State, 5'10, 212 pounds. Um, great player in my eyes. Don't really know where he's going because we don't really know how the running back running back market is. So I'm not going to put a grade on it just yet as far as what round or whatnot. But I appreciate you guys for coming through. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. This is Coach Evans. So hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And we're going to go over and watch the Notre Dame game on More Sip the Tally. So go over there and subscribe to More Sip the Tally also. Peace and love.